from the first until the 10th of September 2021, therefore, um, you need to check and also be present all the time and all the sessions for certificate control. So participants do check and also always present uh, yourself from the first until the third of September. So make sure to do that. Okay, so um, wait a second. Uh, let's start our first event. So there will be an opening remarks by the Dean, Professor Widodo MSD, PhD, Matt SC. And then if uh, we have already got Professor Widodo, I think the screen is yours. Do we have Professor Widodo here? Yes. Okay. Go ahead, bye-bye. Okay, thank you for time. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, respectable guest speaker, Professor Hiroshawa and Professor Hans. Hello, Professor Hiroshawa. Okay, thank you for your time. And also I saw here many students also from Yamaguchi University. So, Hachime Maste. Watashiwa wi dodo des. Tsukuba dagaku no setsuki o sei des. So thank you so much Professor Hirosawa. And also I thanks to Dr. Saiful Anam, head of mathematics departments for arranging this special lecture to open horizon for our student to understand new things, especially the progress for science from the Yamaguchi University. Ladies and gentlemen, all participants, I hope you are doing well and safe in this unprecedented time. I am pleased to welcome you to Faculty of Mathematics and Natural Sciences, Brawijaya University. I think this guest lecture is really important. And one of the topic is to explore education and also summer course program, I think, in the Yamaguchi University. And this is a very important for our student, I think. And also I encourage all of students from especially mathematics departments to try uh, to apply for the summer course in the Yamaguchi University. This is very important to improve your competency, I think. And also, uh, Professor uh, Hirosawa, so maybe I requested you and especially Yamaguchi University to more close and closer to Brawija University, yeah, to enhance the collaborations uh, between Brawija University and also Yamaguchi University and especially to join lecture program. So I think the lecture programs like this is very important yeah, for us yeah, to enhance uh, our knowledge and also to strengthen the collaborations, especially to the research. Yeah. And uh, our university, Brawija University also has a kind of programs yeah, like uh, we call uh, independence, uh, uh independence uh, lectures so our student uh, uh allowed to take the credit from another university uh, either from inside indonesia or from the abroad yeah i think if yamaguchi university able to open the class and our student can sit and take the credit in yamaguchi i think it's very good for us and also maybe it's good also for Yamaguchi University yeah, to, uh, to spread knowledge yeah, to our students. And uh, I think, yeah, uh, I would like to express my sincere gratitude to our, especially case, the lecture uh, today, Professor Hirosawa and also Professor Hans for giving time and share their years knowledge and expertise. And also I would like to give my most profound appreciation to uh, MC, uh, committee moderators, head of mathematics department, student and all of the participants. 
And also a special thank to deans and faculties member from the Yamaguchi University for wonderful collaboration and support. And finally, in anticipation of the fruitful and meaningful seminar, I am as Dean Faculty Mathematics and Natural Sciences on behalf of the Rector of Brawijaya University, officially open the guest lecture from Professor Hirusawa and Professor Han from Yamaguchi University. And I wish you enjoyable talk for today and tomorrow. I think that's all that I want to say and one more. So please welcome to our faculty, even though there is a, we have meeting uh, during uh, pandemic using the Zoom meeting. And thank you for your kind attention. Right, thank you so much, Professor Widodo, for the enlightening opening and then also the prospective project and goals from the program to explore possible collaboration between Brawija and also Yamaguchi. Now let's move to the second agenda. We have the introduction of mathematics department and possible field of research that would be delivered by Mr. Saiful Anam, PhD. Time is yours. Good morning, all uh, guest lecture participants. Ohayo gozaimas. Thank you for thank you to guest lecture Prof Hans and Professor Hirosawa and his students from Yamaguchi University for participating in the guest lectures. Also, uh, Prof Vidodo, Dean of uh, Faculty of uh, Mathematics and Natural Science, for facilitating this lectures. Welcome uh, to uh, guest lecture of uh, Mathematics Department, Brawijaya University. Uh, the vision of Mathematics Department is to become an internationally reputed department in education, research, and community service in the mathematics and its application for developing industry and life sciences. Uh, we have uh, Three mission. First is uh, to conduct quality and sustainable education in mathematics and its applications. And the second mission of uh, mathematics department is uh, to conduct research in the mathematics and education that are competitive, innovative, and have a positive impact on development of education and science. And the third of uh, our mission is uh, to promote mathematics and its application to national international collaboration with industry and education. Uh, now, we conduct uh, four uh, study programs, which are Bachelor in Mathematics, Bachelor in Actuarial Science, Master in Mathematics, and also Doctor in Mathematics. Now we have uh, 29 uh, lectures and uh, seven administration staff. The number of students of a uh, mathematics uh, department is uh, 946 students. We have uh, one uh, laboratory in education and uh, six uh, laboratory research. First, uh, laboratory is the applied analysis and computational laboratory. Uh, the research topic in this laboratories are uh, modeling and computing in engineering, uh, life sciences, marine com and communication and industry. And the long-term research themes are uh, Nonlinear wave, discrete and continuous dynamic system, analysis and development of numerical method and computational science. Uh, this laboratory has uh, its members. Uh, the second uh, laboratory is a computer and data science laboratory. 
Uh, this laboratory has three members, and the research topics are uh, uh, the data analytics or data mining, intelligent computing, image processing, and optimization. And the long-term research themes are development of heuristic and non-heuristic optimization methods, intelligent computing methods, image processing, and data analytics. Uh, and the threat uh, laboratory is analysis laboratory. This laboratory has uh, six members, and the topic research in this laboratory are development of theory and application of the field on function, namely univalent function, uh, nonlinear partial differential equation, and fixed theory. And the long term research themes are. Uh, harmonic analysis, Basilevic function, nonlinear PDE for harmonic function. And the uh, fourth is uh, algebra laboratory. This laboratory has uh, six members. The topic research in this laboratory are theory, development, and application of linear algebra, structural algebra, and discrete mathematics. And the long term research themes are general inference. Group theory, ring theory, module theory, and ring over matrix, uh, combinatoric module theory, and coding theory. And the next laboratory is industrial and financial mathematics laboratory. This laboratory has uh, seven members. Uh, the research topic are uh, theory development, model construction, and applying mathematic concept and method, as well as applying primary data and secondary data to mathematical models. And the long-term research themes are transport and environmental modeling and uh, uh, decision support system for health problem. And the last laboratory is uh, actuar Actuaria Laboratory. This is have four members and themes are insurance in uh, risk theory uh, this is our contact uh, uh, thank you arigato gozaimashita okay that is a very wonderful introduction thank you associate professor saifu anam for introducing mathematics department and also his facilities hopefully there will be a future collaboration between uh, the institution yeah Shall we begin the third agenda? There will be an introduction of Yamaguchi University, especially its summer course and also lecture topology by Professor Fumihiko Hirosawa and his uh, students. But before that, I would like to introduce the professor. Uh, professor Fumihiko Hirosawa currently works in Graduate School of Science and Technology for Innovation, Yamaguchi University and the Department of Mathematics Science. And his specializations are Fourier analysis and his application to partial differential equations. And his research interests cover the area of nonlinear wave equations, global solvability of Kirchhoff equation, well postness of weakly hyperbolic problems, asymptotic behavior with singular coefficient, and the fields related to it. So uh, now Professor Hirosawa would be willing to introduce Yamaguchi University and its summer course program and the lecture in topology. Uh, please welcome Professor Hirosawa and his students. The time is yours. Well, thank you very much uh, for my introduction. Good, nice introduction. Uh, today, uh, so, uh, I, uh, my name is Fumihiko Hirosawa. Uh, I'm Professor of the uh, Department of Mathematics Faculty of Science, Yamaguchi University. And today, uh, the, the, firstly, I would ask you to my uh, student to introduce uh, Faculty of Science, Yamaguchi University. After that, I, uh, the uh, graduate student of our university will introduce a summer science program at Yamaguchi University. So, uh, Please, uh, could you ask me to start? Uh, sorry, I, I was, uh, <laughs> uh, say you in Japanese. Daigaku no shokai o hajimete kudasai. Eto, gamen no kyo yu kara. Hi. Hi. 
。はい、先生、どうぞ。はい。よし、さて。最初か。えっと、まあ、せーの。Hello! Hello. I am Nakagachi Zuru. I am Furukat Shiro. We are junior of the Department of Mathematical Sciences, Faculty of Real Science at Yamaguchi University. We will introduce our Faculty of Science. Please know that English is not my native language and we may make some confusing mistakes. せーの、ピースミーチューファーストオブオール、ウィーウィーウィーウィーウィーウィーウィーウィーウィーウィーウィーウィーウィーウィーウィーウィーウィーウィーウィーウィーウィーウィーウィ
and always continue to see yourself in the past. The faculty, staff, and students at Yamaguchi University are constantly living to make the world a better place. Now we'd like to move on to the next topic. We will show a summary of Faculty of Science. Yamaguchi University has five departments in Faculty of Science, Mathematical Science, Physics and Informatics, Biology, Chemistry, and Geosphere Sciences. This table shows the number of students and professor. Next. We will introduce mathematical sciences. Mathematical science is to solve not only algebra, analysis, and geometry, but also physics and economics by applying mathematics. Then we will introduce physics and informatics. This department is divided into a physics course and a informatics course. At physics course, you can study the fundamental laws that govern nature from space and elementary particles to life phenomena. At informatics course, you can study mathematics, probability theory, information mathematics, programming language, and information specialized subjects. And you will become human who can solve various problems of information science. Then we will introduce biology. As a biology course, students explore the universal or species specific life phenomena of creatures and research to understand the diversity of creatures in the Earth's sphere. Then we will introduce chemistry. The chemistry course curriculum is structured to allow students to learn the fundamentals of chemistry and master the ability of applying them. Then we will introduce geosphere sciences. The department will offer students a high quality undergraduate education. From the third year, students spe specialize in, in the regional environmental science or environmental ma material science. Neither course has a set number of students, so students can freely choose. On the left side, the picture shows a classroom in the Faculty of Science. We take a class this room. The other side is a photograph of a cafe in the university. We often have lunch there. We are busy every day, but we are enjoying our campus life. That's all. We hope you enjoy it and you are interested in Yamaguchi University. So, no. Thank you for listening and watching. Thank you, the students. Uh, Professor you. Hirasawa, if you would like to say something or maybe add information, go ahead. Oh, uh, no, uh, but uh, next, uh, my uh, our graduate student, Mr. Tsuruta, will introduce the science program. Tsuruta uh, kun. できます。共有できますか。はい、やります。Hello. 
Uh, I'm going to explain the science summer program. This character is uh, Yamami, the mascot of Yamaguchi University. Uh, I am Yuki Tsuruta, a first year student at the Graduate School of Mathematical Sciences, uh, Yamaguchi University. My field of Expertise is analytic number theory. Every year since 2016, we have held the Yamaguchi University Science Summer Program as an international academic exchange program. University students from China, Korea, and other countries stay in Yamaguchi for about a week every year. Of course, they go to classes and sightseeing, but the program also allows them to make friends with Yamaguchi University students. Unfortunately, I was not able to meet everyone this year due to coronavirus, and I'm very sorry about that. However, I'm very happy to be able to talk to you here on Zoom. This program, offers classes in a variety of fields. In math class, we had a paper craft class. This photo is what we made at that time. Yamaguchi has factories and nature that are rare in Japan. We visit such places every year in our program. In physics class at the KDDI Yamaguchi Satellite Communication Center. The students actually experienced observations using the university's radio telescope and learned, uh, uh, learned about cutting edge space observation research on black holes and other phenomena. In our science and biology class, we went to the largest karst plate in Japan, located in Yamaguchi and called Akiyoshi Dai. We learned about the biological ecosystem unique to karst plate and the topography unique to Zeopark. We explored a cave and observed animal fossils buried in the cave. In addition to studying, they also experienced Japanese culture. We wore kimono, a Japanese traditional dress. They also folded paper to make various kind of origami. <clears throat> we also did suikawari in which you cover your eyes and break a watermelon with a stick. And we experienced what is called nagashi somen, where water is poured into a bamboo room Noodles are poured down the room, and the noodles are removed uh, with chopsticks. I was able to interact with local high school students through this kind of experience. Also, the food in Yamaguchi is very delicious. Especially delicious is kawara soba, Green soba noodles are grilled on a hot tie and topped with a boiled egg. I know it is very difficult for you to come to Japan right now because of Corona, but please come to Yamaguchi when the coronavirus has disappeared. Stay healthy, wash your hands, wear a mask, and keep the distance with people. Thank you for listening.
Okay, uh, thank you very much for uh, the nice introduction of uh, Faculty of Science, Yamaguchi University, and also uh, the Summer Science Program at Yamaguchi University. And uh, as you see, uh, summer sci at Summer Science Program, we uh, give some lectures, and uh, each we have six departments, and each department gives a lecture. And today, uh, so also, Department of Mathematical Science give a lecture, and uh, I did in uh, 2019. And now, from now on, I uh, will give you a part of the lectures. Uh, so. Just a moment, please. Uh, can you see the slide? So sorry, I, I cannot okay. check by my hair. So if you have no problem, please. Uh, let me know. We still cannot see the slide yet. Are you okay? We cannot we, see it. Uh, no, I'm sorry. Uh, so, so, sorry, my, my student is uh, better to do. Take yeah. your time, Professor. Okay, now we can see it. Okay. What about? Yes, this is good. This is great. OK. So now I, I'd like to start uh, my lecture. Uh, the title is Grade and Mathematics. And uh, I <laughs> introduce myself again. My name is Hirosawa Kumihiko. Hirosa is my uh, family name. And I'm professor of the Department of Mathematical Science. And I have been to Indonesia once. Uh, probably five years ago, and unfortunately, I have not been to uh, so Lama Malang, sorry, but I have been to Soro and uh, Super, do you know, you know, uh, Subra Smart University. And anyway, I'd like to start my lecture. Uh, and I suppose you have, uh, can you see? Uh, so, uh, oh, okay, anyway. Uh, so uh, the purpose of my, uh, my lecture is to understand uh, the brain from a mathematical point of view. And uh, how can we describe the brain in mathematics? And this, uh, I repeat, I'll say you again, uh, this content is part of the lecture what I was given in summer science program at Yamaguchi University in uh, 2019. Firstly, uh, let us try to uh, understand and, and try to describe a braid by using three bands. And have you uh, ever made such a thing? Uh, Yes, with hairs, probably. <laughs> so, uh, so, if you have something, please uh, give a response. <laughs> and uh, actually, in, in the uh, summer science program, I, uh, the students try to make uh, by using such a paper, piece of paper and cut on blue lines and to make, to knit uh, the, such a paper craft uh, in the bottom. And now uh, to try to understand this uh, from mathematical point of view, from uh, very basic, basically. And uh, how many numbers of the intersection of this braid? Uh, you can immediately count one, two, three, four, five, six. The number of intersection is six. Intersections are six. This is a very easy program. Next, uh, 
Let us consider the braid with four bands. And four bands can be knitted like this. And I, uh, you see, we change the colors to distinguish different bands. And a question, how many times are the band is crossing? A bit difficult <laughs> or com complicated. But it is also not difficult. You can count uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, may maybe 12. But uh, let us try to uh, count the crossing by using something like mathematics. So, uh, the, uh, so there are four different bands. And uh, I, to, in, in order to dis distinguish different bands, I give the color. Uh, first band is red and the second band is blue. And if you see, watch carefully uh, this picture, uh, red and blue band crossing two times, two times. And uh, in every different two bands crossing two times. And the combination of different two bands are uh, for two, you see, you learn, and totally uh, six. And in, uh, as I told you, uh, every two different band crossing two times, so the num totally uh, number of intersections are 12. So from another point of view, uh, if you focus this, uh, this part, uh, you see uh, the intersection, three intersection is uh, appears uh, periodically four times. So therefore, you can also uh, calculate the number of intersections are 12. So next, let us consider a more complicated braid. Which, is consist, which consists of a six uh, braid. And I would ask you again, how many times are the band crossing? And I now I give you 30 uh, seconds. Please try to calculate it uh, as the way I introduce uh, for a uh, four, a three or a four band. 30 seconds. Later, I will give you a more a bit complicated uh, mathematical problem. So uh, please prepare a paper and pen by yourself. So now the answer. Uh, so if you focus two different bands, I uh, uh, give a color red and blue, and uh, the structure are the same. Uh, two different bands cross two times. And the combination of different two bands are given in uh, like this. So 15, 15 combinations. Therefore, the number of crossing are 15 times two, totally 30, like this. But, but this is not, not a problem of, uh, for the university student. And next, I will introduce a braid group in order to introduce a break from the point of view of mathematics. So let us go back to the simplest break, uh, which consists of three bands. This is just I introduced in the past. In the past, past. And now I uh, give uh, uh, some uh, names. Like, uh, as you see the picture like this, line one, line two, line three. And uh, between uh, <laughs> the gap from line one and line two, we call row one and also row two. 
them, uh, you see bands uh, change their lines on row one or row two. So there are only two possibilities. And like this, and like this. And if the band cross, uh, cross uh, there are also two possibilities. A pass over uh, up, uh, down, like this. And uh, like you see, uh, so it pointed by a blue circle. And the different, and the another one is a uh, pass over on, down, on, up. So you see, uh, so pointed by red circle. Like this. And we describe a uh, crossing or changing lines of blade by using the notation of a braid group as follows. And if the crossing is at row K, then, uh, and this way, uh, the blue line, a blue circle, uh, we describe sigma K. And if uh, the intersection is converse at row K, then, we are uh, described by sigma k inverse. And if you, uh, this is a notation of braid group. And if you uh, introduce such a notation of braid group, then the braid of three bands is given by sigma one, sigma two inverse, sigma one, sigma two inverse, sigma one, sigma, one, sigma inverse. Notably, it is represented by sigma one, sigma two inverse to the power three. So now I will give you uh, a exercise, uh, but we have uh, not so many times. So, uh, so please try to uh, represent by using grade group in 30 seconds. Please try to do it. Okay, I'm sorry, not uh, I cannot give you uh, enough time, but uh, now I show you the answer. The first one is sigma one, sigma two, sigma one, sigma two, sigma one, sigma three, so, uh, and it's represented by sigma one, sigma two to the power three, and the next one is like this. But uh, please uh, remark that. Uh, uh, Sigma one inverse times sigma one. It is uh, by user, usual uh, calculation. It is uh, it is uh, one. So a uh, sigma one inverse times sigma one disappears. So it is identity. And uh, if you watch carefully, uh, the well, I cannot uh, this this part. Can you see uh, sigma one inverse sigma one? This a uh, crossing disappears. So, uh, so the, it is very useful to describe uh, the so braid group to introduce such a braid. <coughs> so, uh, so I am sorry, this we like to skip. Anyway, I, the, the braid I introduced for are represented by like this by using braid group and six is like this. So uh, now I uh, introduce a braid group. Uh, so, so if we have to say, uh, so please see what uh, this picture. Uh, so this is three band and what happens uh, if uh, we uh, turn 
half、uh, in the direction of right screw. So the three band is changed like this. And、uh, after this procedure,、uh, such a blade group appears sigma one, sigma two, sigma one. And uh, after uh, finishing my lecture, I would、uh, to, to give、uh, the slide, PDF file of the slide, I will upload somewhere so、uh, you can、uh, download this、uh, slide later. Anyway, I would like to go to the next slide. And if、uh, half turn, after half turn in the direction of the right screw, then、uh, Such a braid group appears. And it is represented by using braid group like this. And the next step is a bit complicated, but、uh, if we pass through the right end from the bottom at the star, <laughs> so please, please imagine. And if you have a, a piece of paper, please、uh, also try to by yourself. And a、uh, bit、uh, difficult to recognize, but anyway, if you see, watch carefully,、uh, after this procedure, sigma 2 inverse and sigma 2 inverse appears. And if we pass through、uh, the, the right end from the top, the converse, then sigma 2, sigma 2 appears. And If you pass through the,、uh, the right end from the bottom star, the second row, then we have this. And also, we have this. So, finally,、uh, I would introduce、uh, the application to, uh, of uh, the braid group. It is called magic ami. Ami means、uh, something、uh, neat in Japanese. And、uh, now we want to make、uh, the braid three band、uh, can be knitted by the following way. And、uh, as I introduced you,、uh, the, knit, the、uh, braid with three band is represented by sigma one, sigma two inverse to the past three. And I suppose you have uh, 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 Can you see this? Sorry, I, I cannot check. Now I show、uh, on the camera this one. Can you see? So now we uh, uh, introduce you. How can you make? Three,、uh, the braid of three band by using some, some procedure. And、uh, please try to do by yourself.、Uh, firstly,、uh, twist the right hand、uh, turn in the direction on the right screw as follows. After that, we have. This. And next,、uh, pass through the right, end, the right end from the bottom at the star. After that, we have this. I will,、uh, later, I will explain uh, what uh, this procedure means from the point of view of a great group. At the third, Uh, twist the right end half turn in the direction on the right screw as follows. After that, we have this. And finally,、uh, pass through the right end from、uh, the bottom at the start. And, uh, at the, the, the,、uh, and in this time,、uh, we have to pay attention that、uh, the, the right row. Uh, the second row,、uh, sigma 2 inverse appears. And finally, we have this. And after my lecture, please try to do by yourself. 
and uh, and finally I uh, explain what uh, the the meaning of the procedure uh, the, and the relation between the procedure and uh, a braid group. And the goal is to make this to to construct this uh, braid group uh, this braid. And first, after first procedure, a sigma one, sigma two, sigma one appears. And the second procedure, uh, so between a sigma one and a sigma, a sigma two and a sigma one, uh, so sigma two inverse, sigma two inverse, blue one appears. And totally, sigma one, sigma two inverse, sigma one. And then after the third procedure, we have a sigma two blue one, sigma two inverse, sigma one inverse, sigma two inverse. And finally, the last procedure, a uh, so blue one, sigma one times sigma one appears. And finally, we have sigma one, sigma two inverse times uh, to the power three. And uh, uh, so please try to do it by yourself. And this is an application of uh, mathematics to uh, knit three braid. And uh, probably some of you know this is this procedure is very popular uh, from uh, in uh, leather craft. So you maybe you find uh, such a three band. Uh, the three uh, braids uh, belt, belt. Anyway, uh, this is a part of uh, the lecture which I gave in uh, summer science program. Thank you very much. <laughs> yeah, finally, I give you uh, some uh, uh, information. And we hope that summer science program in Yamaguchi University will be held in the next summer. I'm not sure, but I hope. And secondly, if you are interested in this program, we uh, welcome uh, your participation. And as uh, our graduate student explained to you, but uh, in the la last time, uh, the students from Korea, Taiwan, China, uh, <laughs> three countries, and, but uh, we have never uh, invited from the, uh, the student from Indonesia, but uh, it is very welcome. And there are many uh, the Indonesian uh, graduate students at Yamaguchi University. So I think that the program of uh, meet are not so serious program. So I should, I'm sure you can enjoy it. And anyway, the announcement will be sent in uh, your university uh, in the next spring, if we have uh, the summer science program in the next summer. And we also welcome to study at Yamaguchi University as master or doctor or a graduate student. Uh, some Indonesian students are studying and got a PhD degree at Yamaguchi University. And I also uh, have an Indonesian uh, PhD student uh, five or six years ago. Uh, that's all, thank you very much. Okay, what an interesting and enchanting introduction and also the lecture, uh, of course, with the great medias that been introduced by Professor Hirosawa. And thank you also for the student, uh, Mr. Suruta and then Ms. Nakagawa and also Ms. Furukawa for uh, the introduction. We hope that our audiences would be attracted more on the courses and would like to join the course in the next summer program. Okay, so now we will go to the next session. That is the, the key um, lecture, or we can say the guest lecture from our invited speaker. And she will talk about fundamental concept of machine learning. And uh, let me introduce Associate Professor Sian Hua Han. And she is currently collaborates in Yamaguchi uh, University Graduate School of Science and Technology for Innovation. And her master was from Sandong University, 
Jinan, China, and her doctorate degree was received from University of Ryukyu, Okinawa, Japan. And her interests are in communication and information system, as well as intelligence system. And she had plenty of experiences from National Institute of Advanced Industrial Science and Technology, Artificial Intelligence Center, and also from Ritsumeikan University. So I believe that our audiences here are very uh, curious about her field of study. Without delay, uh, Associate Professor Sian Hua Han, the screen is yours. We cannot hear your voice yet. Maybe you can check your mic. We cannot hear you yet. Uh, can you hear me? Yes, now, yes. Uh -huh. okay. <laughs> okay. Can you hear us clearly? Yeah, okay. Just a moment. Yes, please. So, thank you very much for your introduction. Uh, so, uh, I'm Xian Huanghan from uh, uh, social uh, professor in Yamaguchi University, Japan. Uh, so, uh, my uh, research uh, major is include machine learning and uh, computer vision. Uh, I think it's a little different from uh, the audience uh, students in, in, in uh, this lecture. Uh, but uh, uh, there are a lot of research uh, majored with, with uh, especially with applied uh, mathematics do very, very, very well work in the um, machine learning or computer vision field. I think maybe if you are int interested on the machine learning and the computer vision, I, may, I think maybe is a very, uh, this introduction maybe is a good uh, entry uh, to uh, lead, uh, a little understanding machine learning and the computer vision. Uh, so it's uh, uh, the great honor for me to give this uh, lecture in the, con in the continue three days. So the first day I will introduce the fundamental concept of machine learning. Uh, so let's start this lecture. Uh, so as uh, so, as we know, the human can do very well work, uh, can do operation, uh, arithmetic operation, uh, because we study from the primary school, we can do addition, subtraction, and uh, multiplication and uh, division operation. Uh, if with the simple number, with very small number, we can do fast get the, the answer. However, if we use very large values, such uh, sure in this slide, is we want to get the answer. This uh, multiplication operation, maybe we need to a lot of time or more time to get the final answer. Uh, so this arithmetic operation is mainly based on very simple rules to get the answer. We already learned, we already studied from a primary school. Uh, if uh, according to the simple rule, the machine with computational uh, unit can do very fast. If for this, for this example, maybe for some uh, the software with computer, computational, with, with, uh, 
I designed with the simple just get the answer. Uh, uh, maybe just 0 0.001 uh, second. Uh, so for the for this, uh, if the operation is based on very simple rule, is is very fast for machine to get the answer. However, for our for us for human beings, it very it take a lot of time to get the final answer. Uh, in another, yeah, yeah, uh. In the far, uh, bottom, I'll give another example. If we want to do some complicated uh, recognition, such as the face recognition and the image recognition, uh, generic image rec recognition, this recognition is based on very complicated rule. For us, for human beings, because we are already learned uh, we can get some insight from the 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 features uh, by observe the face. Um, for human, it's easy. easy. For us, it's easy to distinguish uh, the people, distinguish the people. But for for machine, is a very challenge. It's very this this difficult task. Uh, so, because uh, uh, machine cannot automatically learning the complicated rule, we also can cannot design previously design the complicated rule to recognize the uh, face or generic image because different people uh, we uh, the face uh, the capture face fish facial image from different people, different illumination and have different color and expression and hair, hair style. There are a lot of challenge problem for machine to recognize uh, a, a facial image. So the machine learning, the machine learning text, the technique is designed for finish implement implement this task, they want to learn from the input, from the input of, to learn some complicated rules automatically from the facial images. And then let, let the machine can do very good work for the image recognition. So what's what's the machine learning? Uh, I give uh, uh, some uh, there are a lot of definition for the machine learning. Uh, very uh, uh, there are uh, different uh, different definition from different scientists. Uh, basically, uh, machine learning is a branch of artificial intelligence, uh, which concerns the construction and the study of information system. Uh, this system can learn some complicated rules from data, from, from the past data or past experience. Of course, there are different definition uh, by different uh, scientists. Uh, here I give several, several examples, uh, such as, uh, there are three here, three example definition. Uh, the main, the, the important keyword uh, sure in the red color. So in, in machine learning, in, in order to implement in machine learning method, we must first get the uh, example data or training data or based on the past experience. So uh, we after we get the example, the training data, we need to construct 
construct some operation, mathematical operation. Of course, the mathematical operation zero, a lot of unknown thing in the operation, such as the detail value uh, in the mathematical operation. Uh, we first uh, get to the construct mathematical operation. Uh, in addition, we must evaluate how this mathematical operation to do do the do, do the uh do the work well or not good or not we need to evaluate evaluate the performance and we want to get some unknown thing unknown parameter by optimize the constructed uh, mathematical mathematical operation so this is uh, the main uh, concept of the machine learning. Uh, here I give some figure, uh, figure about the ma machine learning uh, procedure. Uh, so uh, first we need to have the training data, which means pa past experience. The, in this training data, we have the input also also, as well as the corresponding answer, corresponding answer. This is the training data. So with this training data, with input, use this training data with input and the corresponding answer, we want the machine can learn some complicated rule to finish the work, finish this uh, the our task. Uh, so in, this is the training phase. After the training, the machine learning model, we fix the this model, and in the test phase, we just input the test without the corresponding answer. We can use the tra already training the model to predict the answer for the future. This is a uh, uh, detail, uh, no, no, is a procedure for the training machine learning method for most machine learning method. The bottom part is another, uh, is similar with the, uh, the upper part is another. We want to use the past experience to the uh, learning. Uh, and generalize the learning learned model to the unknown situations. Uh, what's the different difference between the traditional programming and the machine learning method? Uh, for the traditional programming, uh, usually we have the data, we can use the data without answer. But the data can be dealt with very simple rules. We make a program, we make a program to implement the rule. Then we input the data uh, to the program can get the final output. This is a uh, very simple uh, description description of the traditional programming. How about how about the machine learning method? For the machine learning, the very important part is the training phase. We need we need to first training a model. In the in this model, there are lot of many many unknown things. The unknown things is needed to optimize with the input data, use the input data with corresponding answer, which means in order to con construct, uh, get the uh, very good, uh, a good generalized model, we need to use first prepare the data with the corresponding answer means we have the data also have the output. 
So we use computer or machine to learn, automatically to learn some complicated rule that, that can form the program for, few, for uh, prediction, predicting future unknown uh, situation. Uh, there are a lot of application uh, of the machine learning uh, technique, such as web search, uh, by informatics finance. There are a lot of, lot of uh, application in current day. Uh, I think all of you should know the artificial intelligence, uh, the progress of artificial intelligence is mainly uh, uh, benefit from the uh, advantage of machine learning, such as the deep learning, deep convolution neural network. So this uh, the detailed application can be applied, can be used in many fields, such as medical, medical health care field, education, safe drive, and disaster prevention, pre prevention uh, and so on. So if you are in, interested about this, you can check from the uh, internet. I think there are a lot of material in, uh, information about this uh, application for the machine learning. And if we have, a have time, enough time, we, I will give a very uh, simple example for the uh, application in our real the daily life of the machine learning. Uh, here you just show the academic position of machine learning. Machine learning can be used in a lot of fields, such as artificial intelligence, speech recognition, image recognition, uh, mathematical optimization, uh, and data mining. Uh, I think uh, maybe all oh, you know about the translation, language translation, uh, recently, language translation have progressed a lot. Uh, it's mainly uh, benefit from the uh, machine learning advantage. So machine learning also do great, great work, wonderful work for the natural, natural language processing field. So, uh, now I let overview the machine learning. So uh, really there are many, many machine learning methods uh, have been developed in recent years. Uh, and uh, a lot of my hundred machine learning methods are continue to be de developed uh, each year. So the, the main com component in machine learning is include three aspects. There are three component in machine learning uh, method. This is a common uh, component, a com com common concept, uh, such as we, we must to help to reconstruct a representation of the model what kind of mathematical operation is uh, in our machine learning uh, method. So uh, in order to evaluate, judge how the construct, med, uh, construct model is do, uh, do the work uh, good or not, we need to uh, do some evaluation performance evaluation, we must uh, use some evaluation to judge the machine learning method is good or not. Finally, in order to get the optimal unknown thing, we need to use mathematical optimization method to search or optimize the Unknowing thing to 
uh, let the machine learning can do very well works. So uh, this is some, uh, I'll just give some example about the representation. There are a lot of different representation or model for the machine learning method, such as linear regression decision tree, neural network graph, graphic model, support vector machine, and the GP, generic programming. Uh, because the, even the represent, representation are different, the, the procedure for the for so the machine learning is similar is common. So uh, let's first look at. Uh, I just give the example for the linear regression. This, this is the most simple. Is a very simple uh, simple example. Such as we have the input x. We use very simple algebra operation, linear transformation to construct the model. X is the input, Y is the output. Uh, but we don't know the detail value of, of the W. W is some parameter. Is unknown, the detail value is un, uh, unknown. In training phase, uh, even we construct this model like a very simple linear transformation, the unknown thing, the W, because the W is not unknown, we need to use some training sample, prepare some training sample to optimize, to find the uh, optimal W. Let the uh, uh, this model can, if we use the W, we can get the estimate predict way, can very, can very, can close, approximate the ground truth way, the label, label way. So in training phase, we want to learn the W. We want to learn the detail values of W. So in test phase, we only input X because a W is known. Even we don't know, don't know the detail way, we can use X and W to estimate the way. This is the test phase. So, uh, in machine learning process, uh, to solve the machine learning method, first we uh, need to prepare the training example and using, uh, uh, then construct the mathematical operation. Detail the uh, construct uh, mathematical operation. But in the mathematical operation, we, there are something, there are parameter is uh, unknown. In training phase, we use the train, uh, prepare the training, training data to learn the W, to learn the W, learn some uh, the unoptimal W. So in test phase, we only input X, input X using W to, and the mathematical operation to estimate Y. This is a basic uh, procedure of machine learning method. Of course, there are, uh, here I just uh, introduced uh, supervised learning. Uh, there are a lot of other uh, pa paradigm, such as unsupervised learning, re reinforcement, uh, reinforcement learning. Uh, so uh, the, the optimization procedure is uh, similar, but in design, in the model design and the evaluation matrix is different. 
Uh, for the, as we said, uh, in the machine learning method, there are three compo components. One is the representation. Uh, I'll give an example for the linear regression. Another is the evaluation. We need to design some criteria to evaluation the mo model, uh, the goodness of the model. Uh, there are a lot of uh, evaluation metrics such as accuracy because the time is enough, uh, not enough, uh, limited. I didn't give the detailed information about evaluation. If you are uh, interested, you can check uh, this different uh, evaluation method. Uh, in the second day, I will introduce a very popular used uh, evaluation matrix in current in current machine learning deep learning uh, deep deep network for cl image classification so the third component is parameter optimization as we said in training phase we want to get the uh, optimal w in the linear model, linear transformation model. So how we can get the op optimal parameter, op optimal W is mainly based, based, on, based on mathematic optimization math, uh, strategy. There are a lot of opti optimization uh, method has been uh, developed. The main concern is we have the input and uh, in the training phase, the output, uh, we also can uh, have, we also have the uh, ground truth output, uh, uh, ground truth output. So if we use some parameter, fix some uh, fix uh, parameter to estimate the output from the input. We can get the output, estimated output. We, then we compare the, the estimation with the ground truth. We want to the estimate, estimation can approximate the ground truth. So we want to find such some of uh, parameters to get the cost function. The difference between the poor estimation and the ground truth is minimized, is minimi minimize the, the difference between the estimation and the ground truth. <clears throat> Here give some example. Uh, if our cost function like here, this is a figure. Uh, this uh, the parameter in this figure. There are only two. There are only two parameter unknown parameter. So the vertical, the vertical uh, uh, axis means the error between the estimation and the ground truth. We want to find the slope. Uh, is, if, is only, if we only have two parameters, it means it can be uh, approximated by a linear transform in two, two dimension space. We can call the parameter one is the slope, one is the intercept. So we want to find some optimal parameter that can minimize the difference or the cost function, di difference between estimate, estimation and uh, ground truth, also called the cost function. So the, this Red point, this red point can give the minimized cost function. So this mini 
its red point is over uh, optimal parameter more to uh, over required parameter. This is the, uh, the uh, parameter pa uh, parameter optimization problem. Here, uh, here is also similar. Uh, we want to find the optimal parameter for minimize minimize the cost function. So the red part, the red part, if for the from this figure, if we select select the the red point in the right figure, the cost function, uh, the difference between estimation and the ground truth is very large. So this parameter is not suitable. Uh, so here is some uh, uh, detail Optimis, optimization method, I think, uh, is uh, uh, maybe we can't have time, we don't have time for introduce this uh, slide. Uh, we just skip, skip this. So uh, finally, I will introduce uh, the pattern rec recognition using machine learning. Uh, what's the pattern recognition? Pattern recognition is a branch, branch of artificial intelligence concerned with the classification and the description of the observation. Uh, pattern re uh, recognition includes speech, image recognition, uh, fingerprint recognition. Uh, correct recognition and some DNA sequence identification. Uh, I will give uh, a very simple uh, application in our daily life. I think all of you know use the iPhone or smartphone in daily life. Uh, in, in, uh, all of you use the uh, iPhone, uh, iPhone or smartphone or iPad. So if we didn't use the iPhone, uh, the mobile for a while, if we previously set, preset the screen may be locked, may be locked. So if you, uh, don't want other people to access your uh, mobile. Maybe you previously define the, uh, the your mobile uh, to be locked. Lock. So if you didn't use the mobile for a while, the mobile will be locked. Uh, in order to unlock the screen, uh, maybe you can use password, text or password, or if you previously defined the set, you can use fingerprint or authentication or face recognition. I think most iPhone or smartphone can use this function. Uh, let's look at how this update do, do the uh, to do this task. As I said, first uh, you need to register the use uh, if you use fang printer uh, recognition, first uh, you need to register your your fingerprint into your cell phone previously. Uh, when your mobile is locked, you want to unlock the, your mobile. First, uh, you need to push uh, full input, push the defined uh, place to input your fin fingerprint image. Then the API, the, this API can automatically distinguish 
the input photograph the image is matched the already registered image in your cell phone. If the current input fingerprint can match your registered image, then your uh, mobile, uh, your cell phone may be, uh, can unlock. So for the face recognition, it also do the similar work. So for, after you take your face, and then the uh, current take the captured face, face uh, facial image matched, uh, matched with the already saved uh, facial image in your cell phone. If, if they matched, you can unlock your phone. So as we know, as we know, if we, for us, for us, we look at the uh, fang, fingerprint image, we can, cannot distinguish if two fingerprint is, is same or, uh, are same or not, but the computer can, can do this work, work very well because this is, uh, for computer, this uh, image is very simple. But for face recognition, for us, for human being, is very simple to rec recognize uh, the people to facial image is same or, or not. But for computer, is very difficult. difficult. Uh, here, I'll give some example. As in the right part, in the right part, we have three facial images. The first and the second one, for, for us, uh, we should, uh, we should uh, recognize these two images is the same person, belong to the same person. But for the third facial image is uh, uh, another people, uh, is a woman. Uh, but for computer, if we want calculate the difference from simply uh, calculate the difference from the two image. So we can get the difference image like the middle figures. So the difference, the overall difference between the first and the second image is It more than eight thousand. The difference between the second and the third facial image is about six thousand. It means the second image is more similar to the third image in the first image. If we just use very simple calculation, we can get a final answer like first image, uh, second image is more similar with the third image, but is far from the first image. Why we can't get this result? For us, we can look at different parts, such as eyes, nose, and mouth. We can get some features the uh, uh, unique features from the facial image, but for computer, they can only deal with different individuals values or each pixel in the facial image. So they can't get the, some unique features from the facial image. Well, of course, if we want to use a very simple this, this very simple method to cal calculate different, we first need to align, align the image according their uh, different parts, such as eye, nose, and mouth. We want to align the, 
the I position of different to the semi the position. I think this is also uh, a very important research as aspect in the uh, in uh, ten years ago, uh, twenty years ago maybe. So now uh, it's by machine learning we can deal with the unaligned image very well. So this is the. Uh, Uh, this is the very, uh, very simple example for uh, in our real uh, daily life uh, for use machine learning uh, method. So of course we can also deal with uh, deal with the uh, face recognition um, uh, problem task without machine learning, but you maybe need to a lot of uh, lot of work for do get a good, good performance. So maybe because the time is already, uh, you already time, maybe I just uh, uh, conclude the, 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 uh, the, this, uh, machine, this lecture. Uh, so for the uh, machine learning, uh, we mainly have three component. One is the representation, representation. Uh, one, the, the second one is evaluation. The third one is, uh, third one is optimization, parameter optimization. For the representation, we have different representation, but the common procedure for so the uh, machine learning problem is, is, is same. So for next, for the second lecture, I will intro, introduce a very specific represent, representation method, a neural network. This is a basic, uh, the, uh, the basic for the deep learning method. Uh, since second day, I will introduce a basic uh, uh, the, the, the neural network and the third day I will introduce deep convolution neural network is a very popular one in current day. So that's all, thank you. Okay, thank you so much, uh, Associate Professor Xian Hua Han for the very interesting- So do you have uh, any questions? Yes, um, can you hear my voice? Can anybody hear my voice, please? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. okay. All right. So uh, now we will open the question and answer session. So we have already got two questions. So I would like to invite the, the question makers. The first one is uh, Baba Saiful Anam. So uh, you may ask the question directly. If to you have any question, you can uh, use chat or. Uh, yes. Or use your hand is also okay. Ms. Han, can you hear my voice? Ms. Han, can you hear my voice? I don't think that she hears my voice. Well, okay, so we have uh, Professor Hirosawa here on screen. So, uh, but Sheful Anam, you may directly ask uh, Professor. Thank you very much. Uh, uh, I would like uh, to have a question for uh, Professor Hirosawa. Uh, we think that the summer program is inter uh, interesting uh, programs. Uh, what do the student need to be prepared to join the summer program of the Faculty of Science Yamaguchi University? Uh, thank you. Thank you, uh, Professor. So the question is about how to get into the uh, summer cross program, probably the requirements and what needs to be prepared by the students. Uh, <clears throat> So probably I, uh, in, in this moment, uh, not, uh, uh, in, we have no plan, but uh, probably we will ask to the uh, university, for example, uh, at most uh, three or four students can apply. So after that, uh, you, uh, 
you collect the student and if, if, if it's possible, please select the student. I'm not oh. sure. Uh, so there are a lot of application for the uh, for using machine learning method in our laboratory. We mainly use deep learning network, deep, uh, deep learning, deep, deep convolution network for different applications, such as we use. Sorry, uh, sorry. Uh, for enhance. Can you hear my voice? To enhance the image quality. Uh, maybe maybe I can show you some uh, example for the uh, real application, the, uh, the, the research in our laboratory by the graduate, graduate students. Uh, so just a moment, I can show you some example. Well, uh, sorry, Professor Hirosawa, I don't think that uh, Associate Professor Han can hear my voice. So yeah, so let her explain first and then we will go back to you later on. Mm -hmm. yeah. So this is the second question, yeah, by uh, the question maker names is, um, uh, Bapak Agus Dwi Sulistiono from Department of Social Economics Faculty of Fisheries and Marine Science. Ms. Hang? Ms. Hang, can you hear our voice? I don't think that. Okay, uh, what do you think? Uh, should we continue with Professor Hirosawa? Okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> Sorry for that. Sorry for the, you know, I think this is a technical problem, difficulties okay. uh, by hand. So, okay, if you are, uh, if the student, uh, you are not so, uh, not uh, uh, interested in to join the summer program, uh, not directly apply to our university, but uh, probably I will ask to uh, Professor Shaifu uh, uh, to collect the student, select the student. So, uh, so, probably the announce will be given to the student from uh, the staff of your university. You okay? Uh, uh, associate I'm professor. Sorry, this is uh, <laughs> still in, the, in Japanese. So uh, here is some uh, example. Uh, we we uh, our research uh, in our laboratory by the students. So uh, such as we have, we can get the image. Uh, Use the real camera, we get the image like the uh, noise, uh, the image with the noise and the low resolution and some blurring, uh, blurring uh, effect. So we want to use machine learning to recover, to recover the clear image, high quality image at the left side. So this is one purpose, one application in our laboratory. Uh, maybe I can give some example. So this is some example. Uh, for the left part, we input a image with noise. This is a medical image. We can use uh, this, this result. You not use uh, uh, deep deep convolution network. It's just a simple, uh, very traditional uh, machine learning method. We can use uh, the image processing and machine learning techniques technique to get the more and uh, more clear image like the both one uh, in the middle. Middle, uh, middle uh, part, uh, we input the low uh, the image with small size. The, this one, 
the image with blur effect is just up sampling use traditional method to expand the small size image into large size. So the expanded image has very heavy blurring, blurring effect. However, we use machine learning and some learning method, we can get more high quality image. This is some example. Uh, the right part is also like we uh, deal with uh, te text image. So here is used deep learning method for the super resolution problem. The first one is the input low resolution image. Uh, the right one is the ground truth. Ground, ground truth, the real high resolution image. Uh, the middle one is the estimate predict image from uh, our proposed uh, from deep learning network from the input low resolution images. So, so uh, another work is we also use uh, or another application uh, we also want to use the deep learning network to remove the rain from the image captured in the rain weather. Like the, uh, the uh, light, left one is the input image, the right one is our required image. This is just a uh, give the purpose. Uh, in, Real uh, for all for my students, they also uh, do a lot of work about this task. Uh, this is a real uh, the uh, the left one is a real input uh, input input image. The right one is uh, estimated image by the uh, by our experiment. Yeah, is that all, um, professor, associate professor? Can you hear our voice? Oh, I'm sorry. So, uh, oh, just one idea. Oh, maybe I didn't. Uh, uh, so, did you? Can you see my screen? Yes, yes, yes. We can see your screen clearly. Uh, but I think that you cannot hear our voice. I uh, called your name several times. Can you hear my voice now? Just Can you hear my voice now? Oh. Yeah, let's wait for a while, uh, everybody. Uh, apology for Professor Hirosawa for these, uh, you know, technicalities. So now it's okay. Can you uh, see my screen? We can see your screen. We can see your screen, but can you hear our voice? Can you hear our voice? I think you have a problem hearing our voice. So this, this one is a rain removed from, uh, from the image captured by uh, in the rain, raining weather. This is a real result. Uh, maybe I don't know, it, did you see the screen or not? Uh, this is for the image enhancement. 
we can remove noise and uh, enhance the resolu resolution of input low resolution image. So another uh, is it just uh, uh, in, uh, we didn't we didn't do a lot of work about this. We can use machine learning method to estimate a color image from a, a gray image. So the first one is the input the gray image. We can use machine learning method to automatically learn the color, colorful images. This is the real result from uh, use our experiment or use our developed machine learning model. This is another example. Yes, I think that is enough for the examples, Associate Professor Han. Uh, so, mm. so, uh, uh, but Saiful, how can we? <laughs> so, do you do you think we need to proceed or because I don't think that uh, Associate Professor Han can hear uh, our voice. Uh, so, uh, any questions? Okay, uh, Han, can you hear our voice? Uh, okay. Can you hear our voice? Uh, what do you think, Pasaifu? Oh, maybe I can't hear okay. your voice. Just a moment. Okay, I need uh, the administration staff to help me to mute oh. and then uh, chat directly to uh, Associate Professor Han about the technical problems, yeah? I'm sorry. Okay, can you hear our voice now? Uh, yeah, 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 it's okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is what happened. I already talked to you several times, but you cannot hear oh. our voice. <laughs> sorry, sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, so for this, I think the examples are already clear. It is enough. And now let's go to the next session, the question to Professor Hirosawa. Thank you so much, Associate Professor Han. You can stop your sharing. Yeah, okay. Thank you. I'm sorry. No problem. Uh, you may stop your screen sharing. Okay, okay. Okay, so let's go back to the first questions about uh, the summer program. Professor Hirosawa, you might continue your explanation. <laughs> you are still muted. Maybe you can, yeah, okay. Yeah. Uh, so sorry, you have answered to your question, but uh, so I would say again, if as a student, if you are stu uh, interested in joining the summer program, uh, I will uh, send the announcement to your university department or uh, faculty. And uh, the student uh, will uh, apply not directly to Yamaguchi University, but to, uh, to so that back to uh, the department, uh, faculty of your university. And uh, so, uh, so fully, I will ask to uh, Professor Shaifu. Uh, so, and uh, the student will uh, apply to uh, the faculty of Professor Shaifu. Are you OK? <laughs> Uh, is there any kind of uh, documents that needs to be prepared uh, from the University of Brawijaya in order to apply uh, in your program? For example, like, is there any Japanese language uh, certificate? Uh, no, not, not necessarily, not necessarily. But if, uh, uh, I'm not sure you don't need visa, so, uh, so mm, not necessary to prepare before. Okay, so just join, enroll and join uh, the course. And usually it is done online or offline, uh, Professor? Uh, I hope it will be done um, uh, on, uh, no, no, offline, offline to face, face to face. Okay. Uh, 
Baba Saiful, what do you think? Do you need to ask more questions about the program? No, I think the explanation from uh, Professor Hidesawa is very clearly. Mm -hmm. So the, the university, the Yamaguchi University will send the documents on how to apply and also the procedure and uh, Baba Saiful will uh, deliver that documents to the students in order to select those who are participating in the programs. Okay, now let's open one more, I think for the students. So uh, please um, hit or you can say press the raise hand button if you want to ask question. You may deliver in Bahasa Indonesia or in English, so I may help you later if you want to ask questions. Go ahead, participants. Any more questions? Yeah. Anybody raising hands? No more questions? Or from the faculty, from the dean, or probably uh, the lecturers, if you have questions, feel free to raise your hands. No questions? Well, anybody? Okay, so if nobody asks questions, all right, so Professor Hirosawa and also uh, Associate Professor Han, could you please state your final or closing remarks? What is uh, to expect uh, during this, you know, collaboration? Yeah. Uh, one question. Yes, please. Uh, uh, from uh, Mr. Agus Dwi Sulistiono, I already sent to. Uh, uh, that one is actually already been uh, explained before by Prof uh, Associate Professor Han about multi. Uh, what is it? And uh, the question maker already said thank you as well. Thank you. Okay, so uh, I think now it is the closing remark from both speakers. So, Professor Hirosawa, could you please, you know, kind of, you know, what is your expectation? What is your hope? And, you know, like uh, uh, to further this collaboration. And also, uh, Associate Professor Han, you may also give your closing remarks. Thank you. Yes. Any closing remarks? Uh, maybe uh, you can say one or two words to the University of Pravijaya, what to expect in the future. Okay, uh, so, so it, it is a great pleasure to invite uh, this uh, so, program. And uh, in the next, you know, next time, uh, such an on online communication is uh, nice, but I think uh, the face-to-face -face is better. So uh, in the next time, I hope to uh, meet you face-to-face. Uh, -face. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you so much for the closing remark. Associate Professor Han, would you like to say something? So, uh, I'm sorry <laughs> for the, uh, I didn't uh, say Say to the uh, no, my, uh, speak very well. <laughs> I can't hear you. <laughs> but we can hear you. You can uh, yeah. say uh, without the video. Uh, so, uh, so, uh, uh, so today uh, I will introduce the fundamental machine learning. I hope uh, you can still jo join the lecture on oh, second day. Thank you. Well, okay, thank you so much. It is such an inspirational and also unique lecturing contents presented by Professor Hirosawa and also Associate Professor Han from Yamaguchi uh, University. And we believe that by attending these sessions, our audience could grasp how it feels to study abroad and with excellent academicians, of course. Therefore, we need to always conduct such events to motivate 
all students, especially in Indonesia. Yeah? Okay, so uh, that is the end of our session today. Don't forget tomorrow and also the next day we will have another session and it will start around 8.30. So hopefully that all the participants can attend in time or on time and the Zoom link will be uh, provided in participants whatsapp group so have a good afternoon everybody thank you so much for attention and also the uh you know like the the progressive discussion as well hopefully tomorrow students can be more active in joining the discussion yeah so you can also prepare uh, like for example notes and also pen so that you uh, can uh, practice how to do it like professor hirasawa and also to see Professor Handy before, yeah. Okay, have a good afternoon, everybody. I'm Erlina as the moderator, saying thank you to all of you and see you tomorrow. Bye bye. Thank you, Professor Hirusawa and Professor Han and MDG University student for meeting this. Yeah, if you already um, fill out the form, the attendance form, the mail is
Growing old, doesn't matter where we're going. 